So, we were talking about Guinea. You know, Guinea and uh, Clarence. Guinea and Clarence, uh, the Supreme Court, QAnon couple. Uh, but, you know, let's move on to some other things in relation to uh, January 6th. And here we have a very interesting, uh, you know, news story here. This is from The Post. Democracy Day is in darkness. January 6th, White House logs given to the House show seven hour gap in Trump calls. Seven hours. That's a long time. That's a long time. Seven hours? The House Select Committee is now investigating whether it has a, the full record and whether Trump communicated that day through back channels, phones of aides, or personal disposable phones, according to people familiar with the probe. I want to remind everyone the big thing going around here is comparing this to Nixon. Uh, of course, the Watergate gap in records was 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Reminder, Richard Nixon was facing impeachment. Uh, he thought he was going to lose from his own party, so he resigned because of an 18-minute gap. So I just want to say, like, again, in the same instance as Guinea and Clarence, they will never be held accountable. They will never go to jail. Donald Trump will never be held accountable. He will never go to jail. This is an endless news cycle. This is a loop, right? Oh, Donald Trump broke the law. Oh, let's hold him accountable. And then, like, oh, a couple months later, uh, yeah, so we've determined that he did, in fact, break the law, but we're all too chicken shit to do anything about it. Like, again, with the DA and fucking the Manhattan District Attorney, whatever it was. It's like, yes, we've determined that he committed multiple felonies, and that's really bad, but we're actually kind of afraid to actually prosecute him because what if he says mean things about us in the press and then... And then, so we're just going to let him get away. Yes, he committed 19,459 felonies, but, you know, that's not really a big deal because he's orange man. And, it, you know, so, you know, he's never going to be held accountable. He's never going to go to jail. I need people to understand that will never happen. And if it does happen, that's great. That's what I want to happen. But I'm just like, again, this is like the 15,000th fucking time. Oh, whoa, Donald Trump broke the law. <laughs> he's going to, he's done for now. Remember the Mueller report? Yeah, Mueller was like, yes, we've determined that there's multiple links and, you know, maybe you could prosecute, but, you know, also, by the way, we just sent his lawyer to jail because, uh, but also, you know, and not going to do any. Oh, we've determined that, you know, like, again, he will never go to jail. He's committed, uh, like, every, like, felony in the book. Like, you know, you look at the book, he, he should be writing new felonies to commit because that's how many, like, but he's never going to be held accountable. Why? Because this country was built for Donald Trump. This country was made for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is America. He is the American man. He is the American dream incarnate. He will always get away with everything all the time because this is what the country was founded on. It was founded on corruption. It was founded on fascism. And that's what it will always be until this country dies. Internal White House records from the day of the attack on the U.S. Capitol that were turned over to House, the House Select Committee show a gap in President Donald Trump's phone logs of 7 hours and 37 minutes. You'd think you'd throw like a couple things in there just to, you know, like throw a couple phone calls, you know, just to your kids or whatever. Hey, how's school? You know, just to like make it look less obvious. But nah, they don't care. They will cheat and they will tell you, they will tell everyone, by the way, we're cheating, just so we know. By the way, uh, you know, we're cheating. And then when they lose, because they, they couldn't cheat hard enough, they, they just pretend that they won. Again, Donald Trump lost the 2020 election. Joe Biden is the winner. But again, so they're sore losers, and they just say, yep, we cheat all the time. You're not going to do anything about it. And then again, when they lose, they just pretend that they won. You know, again, these motherfuckers, and they will never be held accountable. Again, no one, none of these motherfuckers will ever go to jail. They're going to send their peons to jail because they're not rich. They can't afford to get out of jail. These motherfuckers will never be held accountable. The lack of an official White House notation of any calls placed to or by Trump for 457 minutes on January 6, 2021, from 11.17 a.m. to 6.54 p.m., means the committee has no record of his phone conversations as his supporters descended on the Capitol, battled overwhelmed police, and forcibly entered the building, prompting lawmakers and Vice President Mike Pence to flee for safety. The 11 pages of records, which consist of President Trump's official daily diary and the White House switchboard call logs, were turned over by the National Archives earlier this year. I love the National Archives, by the way. Um, 
The records show that Trump was active on the phone for part of the day, documenting conversations that he had with at least eight people in the morning and 11 people that evening. The seven-hour gap also stands in stark contrast to the extensive public reporting about phone conversations he had with allies during the attack, such as a call Trump made to Senator Mike Lee seeking to talk to Senator Tommy Tuberville and a phone conversation he had with House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. So again, this is the thing. It's not like, oh, maybe he was taking a nap. Again, other people, right... Other people have determined, like, I've, I've, I've reported that, yeah, we were on the phone, right? So it's obvious he was on the phone. There's no record of him being on the phone, which means who knows what phone he was on. All I'm saying is we got to hold the fucking phone. That's what I'm saying. Also, I think we should hold him accountable uh, for that matter as well. The House panel is now investigating, blah, blah, blah. Again, he will never be held accountable. Uh, none of the rich people in this country will never be held account. They will, they will never, ever, 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 ever pay any consequences for anything that they've ever done ever, because that's not how this country works. Uh, but again, just, you know, but we, it doesn't mean we shouldn't investigate. We should investigate. We should call to impeach. We should call to do everything. Impeach this guy 15 more times. I don't give a shit. Impeach George Bush while you're at it. Let's fucking, you know, we got a lot of work to do, right? So, uh, that's my opinion. Uh, but again, it's important to document the crimes, but it's also important to manage expectations. Uh, again, he can commit 7,000 felonies. He can murder as many people as he wants. He can kill kids. He can shoot someone on Fifth Avenue, and he will never go to jail. He will never face any consequences. He will always throw someone else under the bus uh, because that's just how this country is, is, is designed. It was designed for someone like Donald Trump to wreak havoc on us from the get-go, from the Trump. And uh, there you go. That's that's the segment. Also, uh, Guinea. I still can't get over the, the like Guinea Thomas, wife of Clarence Thomas. I can't get over Guinea. What kind of fucking name is Guinea? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, she's also never going to be held accountable.